where is it? There it is. All right, <laughs> I had to find the uh, the audio switch. Hey guys, good morning. Uh, time's flying. I've been up since like I don't know. <clears throat> Still can't get my pipes going, but uh, I've been up since six o'clock. So uh, a little tired, but uh, I had a meeting this morning, and then I had to get back here and. Boy, I actually wanted to come on a little earlier, a few minutes to make sure everything's good, but whatever. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? This is what a live show's all about. So it looks like, uh, looks like got a few people here in the room. Good morning, everybody. <coughs> got my big coffee mug. Mm. Really, it's coffee tumbler or whatever you guys call it. And it's got that holiday creamer in it. Uh, it's just like a raspberry something or another raspberry chocolate creamer or who knows Tammy finds like the funkiest stuff it's totally cool okay so before it's top of the hour right now uh, let me give you today's picks real quick on college football for those of you who want to see what I'm doing I'm not doing well this year but I'm losing like one or two games and uh, but uh, oh well I always win a few so uh, so this is what I'm, I'm going with today you let me know if I'm crazy. Let me see. Is this the uh, that college? Nope. That's not college. Let's go to college. All right. Here we go. All right. So, Florida State giving up 18 and a half points against North Carolina State. That's probably gonna be a harder game than I thought. I'm going with uh, going with blue today. Go blue. Uh, Michigan minus 13 against Minnesota. I'm going with Missouri because I've always loved watching Missouri play. Good team doesn't get a lot of attention, a lot of love. So I'm picking Missouri against South Carolina, taking the underdog. Notre Dame, smoking hot this year. They're doing really well. Uh, I'm going to say that uh, they're going to take Syracuse by more than 10. So I'm giving up 10 points. Stanford, minus 7.5 against Washington University. And Louisville, got to give up 22 points against Wake Forest. I expect it to be uh, a beating with Louisville, but you never know. Oh, you want to know what Zion is? It's a barbershop uh, back in California, uh, Mount Zion Barbershop. I used to go to the guys. Had these cool shirts always made. They got kind of cool. Well, not that side. It's this side. They put some. They put the logo on the side and on the uh, and on the front of the shirt. That's what it means. And uh, anyway, so uh, good evening, Ahmed. Uh, where are you right now? Because I saw that uh, you said it was nighttime. So I wanted to wish you a good evening. Everybody else, good morning. Uh, let's see, do, 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 I uh, just want to let you know, oh, so how, how well is the new grill working? That's really cool because, uh, uh, Hayes Hacker won because I'm going to be talking about that in a minute. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that finally I'm getting my grill on. That's right. So you might see me slip in a grilling video. Uh, one of the reasons I didn't do my barbecue grill this year, one, because I got the new Traeger smoker and I wanted to do this summer a smoking series. Every summer I do, and by the way, it's not summer anymore, I know. But every summer I do a smoking series, I mean a grilling series. Now I had a smoker, I can do smoking meat also. The grill, I bought this new grill back in California, and I had a gas line that ran to it. Well, out here in Tennessee, for some reason, it's wicked expensive to run a gas line from the side of my house to the back. It's 45 feet of pipe. That's it. 45 feet of pipe. And... The, cheap, the least expensive I could find was $779 to do it. That's right. And they did a great job. They ran it underground and all that. And I get it. But back in California, it was like 400 bucks. Whoop, 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 done. So I had to save up for it. So I literally saved, my, saved money up to do this job. And, uh, and so I got it done. So now I have gas going to my gas grill. My grill now is working. I haven't used it yet. But I'm planning on doing um, uh, the, this uh, apple butter barbecue sauce ribs. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to... Uh, it'll kind of be a product review and a grilling episode at the same time. But uh, I got this new, uh, which I'm also going to talk about later. Uh, it's apple butter barbecue sauce. It's crazy. I love trying those wacko ones. Ah, uh, la, 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 la. All right. So... Uh, welcome everybody who made it to the live show. If you didn't make the live show, you're probably watching this recorded and, uh, it's okay. It's just as good recorded. Um, we have, I just want to talk about a, a problem I talked about last week. Uh, YouTube deletes all the comments, 
All the comments you guys are typing right now, the last two weeks, they disappear. Even though my statistics show there are 450 comments, everything during the live show that we write goes bye-bye. It's a new thing. It's a new frustration that YouTube has put in my life. So me going back and trying to answer your questions is kind of difficult. So here's what we're going to do this week. I've already got people in my management company talking to people over at YouTube about this issue. Why did it go away? Why would you ever get rid of the comments and delete them and start over? I know why. It's some new process they're doing. With the live video going up recorded, they just start fresh. I have no idea why we lost it, but I, we're trying to get that back. In the meantime, if I don't get to your question today, I want you to repost it after the show's over once it posts up on my channel recorded. If you need an answer and I don't, didn't get to it, please, or get me through Facebook, or get me through Twitter, or get me through Google+, Plus, anything. Um, by the way, I have a feeling Google+, Plus is going to go bye-bye soon. I don't know why I feel that way, but we will see. Okay, hey Jack, my mom's uh, fiancé watches the show, and it's his birthday. Can you give him a birthday shout-out? Sure, I would love to. Um... What's his name? Uh, your mom's fiance. Go ahead and post it up and uh, we'll wish him a happy birthday. That is Midnight's in Igami. Uh, I don't know. Oh, Midnight's. Midnight's in Hin Igami. Uh, just use your name. All right. So, anyway, gas is expensive in the countryside. Uh, yes, Lady Nikki, it is very expensive. Oh, there we go. 11 hours ahead. By the way, we shall start grilling soon. The winter will be very good for grilling. Okay, I, I missed where you were. I'm sorry, my bad. Let me see. Oh, there it is. Bangladesh. Okay, uh, Bangladesh, you're reversed from us, right? If I'm correct. Uh, it's uh, Dhaka, Bangladesh. Uh, Ahmed, you have winter when we have... So, oh, no. Wait a minute. No, you're the same. Uh, your seasons are the same, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. You're going into winter like us. Okay, yeah, that's right. I forgot. I couldn't. <laughs> I'm horrible at geography. My bad. But I want to show respect to you guys, too, and, and realize that, first of all, thanks for being up for this. Um, but, yeah, so uh, you grill in the winter. I love grilling in the winter. I, it would have to be, like, really. All you can do is stand close to the grill, and you're cool. You're good. I have a buddy of mine um, that is up north, and he grills in the snow. He gets tons of snow. He don't care. He wipes the snow right off. He fires that baby up, and it just stays. He just stays near it. It's warm. It's like a fire, and it smells good because there's food cooking on it. You gotta love that. Um. So anyway, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, let's see. Oh, hey, sir. Is it Sir Wintlebottoms? Welcome, Sir Wintlebottoms. Um, I just want to say welcome to the live show. Uh, and Green, instead of a new feature, they have introduced new problems. See, that's what I'm talking about. YouTube's getting ridiculous. As Here's the thing. I don't want to go as far as say, YouTube's ridiculous. They're the worst they've ever been, blah, 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 blah. They also are doing a lot. We re I mean, YouTube's huge now. So when they pull a thread to, to fix something, it, it, yank, it takes the whole thing down. They got to put it back up. They're really big. And without, I mean, if YouTube went away, that would be crazy. Uh, a lot of... My son spends a lot of time um, being entertained by YouTube. So there's a lot of stuff, good stuff, that YouTube still does. And I think it's only the beginning of what YouTube's doing. Uh, we're at the tip of the iceberg. So, <clears throat> excuse me. If you guys want to get on YouTube and start doing a show, you're still in the beginning stages. I'm serious. YouTube's only begun to grow. So let's kind of grow with them in growing pains. And um, I wish there was a way of notifying them, but they're like impossible to get a hold of. Even me, I can't get a hold of them. I have to go through my management company, and they can barely get a hold of them. So that's, I think that's the most irritating thing is when there's a problem, we have nowhere to report it. It's kind of weird, but that's what happens. All right, uh, let's see here. Doo -doo -doo. Let's see if we got that. Did she give me the name yet of the birthday? I made it. Can you sap my name? Okay, Rachel Satterfield. I have just sat your name. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, oh, there it is. Midnight Shin Shinigami. Okay, that's how I'm supposed to be saying it. Oh, Ahmed's rocking today, man. You are on fire. Uh, hey, Jack, what phone do you have? 
All right, what phone do I have? I have the Samsung Galaxy S5. It gets a lot of use, see how it's all ding, you know, it looks bruised and all that. Now that case is awesome. Um, it films in ultra high definition. It's got the thumbprint scanner, just like the iPhone, whatever. Uh, it doesn't bend. <laughs> just kidding, that's just a little jab. Um, so uh, yeah, I love it. I've even got a glass protection on it and it's so slick feels like there's no doesn't feel like there's anything on this it's amazing so yeah samsung galaxy s5 right now uh righty red five cherry you forgot the show how can you forget the show <clears throat> shinigami means death god hmm that's interesting uh hey to each his own whatever as long as it doesn't affect uh Oh, it's it's from Bleach. Uh, I just started recording Bleach, by the way. I'm I I have a secret love and desire for anime. Um, some of you know that uh, I love I love a lot of things that people don't expect, but like video games and anime. And I'm playing Destiny, and I'm just a kid at heart, and I'm never gonna grow up, never. So, uh, uh, any comments about OnePlus phones? Oh, OnePlus phones. Um, yes, I like what one, OnePlus phones. Uh, you're talking the OnePlus One, and then there's a new one coming out. There are two companies, two new phone companies that are really doing a good quality product and yet aren't getting much attention. OnePlus phones, and the other one was, what was it called? Oppos? Oppos. Oppos. Uh, two phone companies. It's going to be very interesting. I'm still holding out for the Google Project uh, Aura which is where you build your own phone by modules and you get to, like I'm a camera guy. Uh, I shoot video all the time on my phone. You can slide out the section of your camera and pop in maybe a Canon module. And it's a Canon camera. And then a gra if you're a gamer on your phone, you can pop out the graphics card module and slide in maybe an NVIDIA module. You get, the, you get to pay for better parts to your phone and they come look up project ara ara uh it's pretty cool so um soul eater yeah i'm going i'm going to be uh autumn i'm going to be uh popping uh back into anime real soon i wasn't able i got a data oh my god there's so much to tell you guys uh i'm going to be going back uh, into netflix and uh i have the candy is a candy crunch roll or candy roll or candy crunch i gotta catch up on um Sword Art Online. There's a second season, and I need to get into that. Um, I was watching Blue Ex. Is it Blue Exorcism? God, there's so many go through my head. Blue Exorcism and Attack Titan. Uh, I'm, I'm destroying every name I'm saying. I know it, but those are the ones that I'm really interested in. But I kind of want to start at the beginning. And now that I have my data issue and my house fixed, some of you know I was struggling with data caps uh, here in Tennessee. I never had a data cap before. And I was blowing through my data, blowing through the data. Like I have a 300 cap for Comcast. And I was, I mean, I didn't even, wasn't even streaming TV, just me gaming and Jack Jr. gaming and our, our iPads and our cell phones and our laptops and streaming this show. Um, my 300 turned into 600 a month. I was spent, I was going through like almost 600 gig. Couldn't stop it. It was like I was on a spending spree of data. So my brother, Charles, some of you know him, uh, came to the rescue and he found an article about Comcast. And here it is. I'm going to tell you guys this. Don't ruin it for me. Don't everybody jump on this idea. Because if you do, they might put a cap on it. Com I was paying $98 um, for, it was 100 gigabytes down and like 20 gigabytes up. And it was $98 a month, 300 gig cap. Okay. For another 10, now if I go over, I get penalized $10 every 50 gig. Are you with me so far? Every 50 gig I use, $10, $10, $10, $10, till the month ends and then it resets to zero. Okay. So, I had three months to figure out how I could fix this data problem because you get three courtesy months and then they start slamming you with penalties. So, I'm on my third month and my brother goes, hey dude, I just read this article, why I use Comcast business internet at home and I'm like what he said 
Yep, Comcast Business Ent Internet does not have data caps. Unlimited data. I'm like, okay, cool. And he said, uh, also, it's 50 down, not 100 down. But I don't need that. That's sufficient speed for me. Uh, 50 megabytes down, still fast enough to do the show, play games, everything we do in the house. But I now have unlimited, so I can hook up. I have 15 devices in my house using the internet. No lie, 15. Um, so it's unlimited for $10 more a month. So for an additional $10 of what I was paying for residential, my business internet is, is all you can eat. So I'm eating it all, no lie. And I have the new box right there, and it's all, I mean, there's smoke coming from it. It's awesome. The lights are like, <laughs> slow down. It's just awesome, I'm giving it a work. So uh, another thing, if you're a Comcast subscriber, you might want to know this. They use your box in your house as a Wi-Fi hotspot. You need to tell them to turn it off. That's right. When you're driving around town, you see Xfinity Wi-Fi. That's somebody's house. You're using their box. And they use them as little, little hotspots without telling you. There. Enough about that. Okay, uh, Jack, do you watch True, Dete True Detective? Oh, I should back up, but let me answer this real quick. Uh, yes, I watched the first season. True Detective was awesome. It was great. Some of the best acting performance. It was the weirdest story ever. Uh, it was so slow-paced. It went over an entire season, but I was still caught up in, in just the story. Um, and Vince Vaughn and... Oh, I should have known. What's his name? <laughs> Vince Vaughn and somebody else. Now, now I'm irritated. Uh, the new new True Detective Vince Vaughn is going to be in it. True Detective. Here we go. Uh, True Detective cast falls into place. Awesome. All right. So it's Vince Vaughn and uh, you guys are saying oh oh that was the that was first season. Oh, it's second season. What's his name? He's got an accent. He was in phone booth, right? Come on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why does it say Rachel McAdams? Now I'm doing all this research. Hold on. Vince. There we go. Oh, there it is. Colin Farrell. All right. Colin Farrell and Vince Vaughn have been cast for season two. It was supposed to be two women. Been named as two of the four stars. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, this keeps getting better. All right, it looks like Vince Vaughn and Colin Farrell are two of the four stars. I'm guessing um, Rachel McAdams' name just dropped on my internet. So that's going to be great. All right, you know what we're talking about, True Detectives HBO. New series started last year, though, and it's a different cast every season. It's a different story, it's a different location, everything. Uh, season one was in Louisiana, and it was awesome. I'm not going to tell you about it. Woody Harrelson and Matthew McConaughey did an outstanding performance. Outstanding. It was crazy. So check it out. True Detective. All right, moving on. Let me back up a little bit. I lost some I lost some of you guys. Project Ara, yes. Okay, so backing up a minute. Uh, here we go. In order to be cool, though, you need an iPhone. Hayes Hacker 1. I don't need an iPhone to be cool. I'm never going to be cool. I'm just going to be me. Okay, sorry, dude. Had the night shift all week. Haven't slept in 24 hours. Luckily, I check YouTube. Red 5 Cherry, go to bed. I am not worth waiting up for, dude. Watch me later. All right, my mom loves anime too. Glad to see you're an anime fan, Jack. Yes, I am definitely big in anime. Uh, if you want an anime-esque video game, you should check out the Tales of series, like Tales of Vesperia. They're great games. Uh, Galaxy S3 for the win. Uh, what are the anime games on? What system? Just out of curiosity. Uh, love the anime of blood manga is it man is it man Mon manga manga it's manga right i'm saying it right anyway love the concept of plug and play phones but have to wait <clears throat> try torico freddy says torico so i need to take a note of that torico as well as trinity seven oh, you guys rock is it really bigger than i think i mean do more more people love anime than it, than, than admit um, it has to be good anime, by the way, guys. There's garbage anime out there. There's so much bad anime. You have to go with, like, uh, um, I'm doing, I, like, the, you want to start in anime? 
I think the best place, you know, they always say, if you want to read the Bible, read the book of John. If you want to start anime, watch The Last Airbender cartoon series. That's a really good start. Then you can go work your way into different areas. Uh, you want dark anime. You want humorous anime. You want adventurous anime. Uh, it's pretty cool. The, it's not a graphic-driven cartoon. It's storyline-driven. And The Last Airbender, and then the second one with uh, Kara. Oh, man. She, she, I didn't think I, li I liked a girl being an uh, airbender or the last... An avatar, sorry. Avatar. Uh, Kara is the avatar now, and she, it's an amazing storyline. I love it just as much as the first one. So, do, 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 do. hello, Jack. I've been watching. Oh. I hate when you, YouTube just loads, loads it, and I can't control the, the loading of comments. It's really irritating. Forgive me. Got to go back. I'm sorry. So how's game plan Destiny going? Game plan's going great. I'm at level 8 or 9. Oh, no. I'm at 11. I forgot. I'm at 11. So bear. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, level 11. I, I just don't even... I sneak a, an hour here and there while everybody's at work because I just can't just stop and play for hours like my, my son can. Uh, Sir Winterbottom, let me know if you want some of the anime, by the way. I'd recommend some now, but I don't know what sort of thing you like. Um, yeah, I will. I'll let you know. I'll, I'll probably talk about it more on the show when I'm looking for new titles. Uh, but anyway, uh, is $100 fairly standard price for broadband across the USA? I pay approximately 30 in the UK for unlimited data. Um, yeah, we get raked. In data, in the data field, Verizon and AT&T just beat us up. Uh, you got Verizon giving you data, you got AT&T giving you data, you got Comcast, you got Cox, uh, Time Warner just got bought by Comcast, so that's gone. Um, basically, in most of America that I know of, you get one choice. I have maybe two. Like I get AT&T U-verse, which is just garbage. I'm not even going to go into that. Um, they always say, oh yeah, it's fast, and then you get on it and you can't do anything. Um, I heard a horror story on Uverse, and then um, then this Comcast, and that's it. We don't get choices. When there are choices, I will leave these people. Directv should give you internet. <clears throat> um, I'm waiting for Google Fiber to come around. That's going to take four thousand years if that even happens. So in America, you're kind of back against the wall. If you want to function, you want a lot of data. You want gaming. You want Netflix. Pretty much everything. They own you, and you got to pay. They own the lines that the data comes in. When this stuff goes wirelessly, it's game on. That's the whole thing. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, nowadays, yeah, they, they hit us for cell phones. They hit us for... That's why, you know... That, I mean, the moment we get a, a, get, can get away from this, but they have a monopoly on it, which I don't get because the government says, oh, no monopolies. No, no, no. But they do. So, anyway... Uh, at and has a similar residential cap, so, uh, I did the same thing. Oh, yeah, Phil, I hear you. Um, so if you guys are paying around $100 for data in America, check out the business plan and see if that's, and you have data caps. See if your business plan is unlimited. Tell me you got a home business, which I really do, and, and rock business internet. I mean, you might as well. Everything's coming through the internet. Your whole life's through the internet. Your phones are connected to it. Everything, if you're that much a heavy user like I am, then it's worth it. All right, hey Jack, did you know that they slow your speed down after you pass a certain amount? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's, uh, I have unlimited too. This is one, two, three, uh, uh, Rick, Rickon, and says, uh, when he reaches 600 gigabytes, the servers slow down. Yeah, this one, my, they do it on my phone. Um, and that's fine. I don't need the speed so much on my phone. But if they do it on my business, I don't know if they're going to do it on my business. I don't know how the business works. If they, if they, th it's called throttling. And by the way, there's a lot of throttling cases in court right now that it's illegal to do that. You know? Could you imagine? Could you imagine any other business throttling? All right. Let me give you an example. Ready? I'm at the supermarket. All right. I have 60 things in my cart. Okay. Could you imagine, she's just checking you in, beep, 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 oh, we're on number 50, okay, now we're going to throttle you, beep, you, really, 
Could you imagine when you reach a certain point in anything in real life, it slows down? It, like the further you drive down the street, the red light takes longer. Could you imagine throttling in real life? It would be unacceptable. That just, it, it's insane. That, But I mean, once again, our government is ran by big corporations and we can't, at this point, we can't do anything unless, unless the American people band together and, and fight these things. There's a lot of dishonesty and a lot of money digging going on. We can't do anything about it. All right, let's get to some fun stuff real quick, all right? Um, and then I'll get back to your guys' as oh, Thank you, University of Turmoil, for Colin Farrell because I was an idiot and I couldn't remember his name. I appreciate that. Uh, in Belgium, you're forced to be a hot spot. No change. Horrible it is. Hey, uh, Red 5 Cherry, I'm not going to tell you to do this, but there is a way to hack into your modem and turn that off. I'm almost positive. But I, I'm not telling you to do it. I just It's just a, a fact of life. And I thought I'd share a fact. Like, this is a table. There's a way to hack your modem. Okay. So anyway, uh, I, uh, I want to get into where I was for the past two days. My buddy Paul, you guys know Paul from Jack on the Ghost Show. Uh, we went out to Sevierville. And it's near Pigeon Forge. It's where Dollywood is, the amusement park. And uh, we were out there. And I got... I got invited to the Apple Barn. My buddy Elliot was the one who pushed me into going. He told me about their apple cider mills all over the country. And there really would be an interesting story if I went there. So the Apple Barn is an apple cider mill. And I'm going to show you the two, it's a two-part series that I'm editing right now. I filmed the last 48 hours uh, out there, three and a half hours from where I live. And I went out there and the family who, who runs the place gave me a private tour showed me around, they have a bakery, they have a can, well here, let me show you. All right, so first thing I did was I went into their restaurant and I ate, there we go, can you hear me on that, yeah. All right, first thing I did was I ate uh, apple fritters. The restaurant, that's what they give you, not bread, not bread and butter like uh, other restaurants do, but that place, to start off for free, when you go there, it was the uh, Applewood Farmhouse restaurant and it's a part of the apple barn they own two restaurants there and you get these beautiful warm delicious apple fritters right there and that little dip on the on to the left that is apple butter and if if you eat the the butter on the fritter you'll just slam your face in the table it's that good and then in that glass is pure apple cider and what i mean for maybe you're not you're not getting this Pure apple cider. In the video, I filmed the apples came in from the orchard and they pour all the apples into a machine and it gets crushed and it gets pushed down and the juice is extracted and then they tumble it to get the pulp out and let the juice drip through and then it gets pumped into a big vat and they refrigerate that overnight so all the sediment can settle to the bottom and it's just pure golden deliciousness right from an apple. And then... It goes into that glass. That's how good it is. No sugar added, no preservatives added. You got to drink it now or it's just going to go bad over time. Um, then they bottle it up or they put them in gallon jugs. And I brought five of them home. Five gallons of this stuff is in my freezer. They have it in a freezer and you grab it out of their freezer at the Apple Barn and you stick it in your car and you drive as fast as you can home because you got 12 hours for it to frost. So it was the best apple... To me, it was apple juice, but they, I guess they call it apple cider. It was amazing. So now I have a, uh, a Game of Thrones recipe that uses apple cider, and I'm going to be making that soon. So um, it's a great video. You guys got to see it. I'm going to show you all around. They have a bakery. They have a candy shop. They have a winery. I got apple raspberry wine for Tammy, uh, apple peach wine. Um, it was just apple butter and then an apple barbecue sauce. So... Uh, you're going to hear a lot about apples this season. Uh, it was a great trip. It was so much fun. We were there two days. We came the next the next morning to film just a little bit more, show you some of the trees. They're replanting. They're refreshing the whole crop, uh, the whole orchard with like 2,000 more uh, apple trees. What a blast. And it's not. It's right out there in near Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Uh, big tourist trap area. But these people, you get to go walk around in behind the scenes yourself and see how it's made. 
not just me, but luckily one of the owners was giving me a private tour. So there you go. And it was exciting. Uh, loved it, loved it, loved it. Okay, so let's go back here real quick and see what you guys are saying. 357 Queen B. That Cinnamon Toast Crunch Chicken looks so good. It was. I should have cooked it longer. I'm just telling you, the chicken was fully cooked, but the outside wasn't crispy enough for me. Maybe I should hit it with the broiler. I don't know. But if you make my Cinnamon Toast Crunch Chicken, the video that just aired, number one, cook it longer. Cook it till it's crispy. Rotate it. Um, you want that outside to be nice and crispy. Number two, a suggestion was skin the chicken. It might adhere better to the chicken, uh, which it adhered fine, but once you bite the skin, all the coating comes off uh, onto the skin. So thank you very much. That was so much fun. Uh, let's see, how is Jack Jr. doing in football? That is cosmified or chasmified. Um, he won again last night. They won, uh, not last night, Thursday, sorry. They are literally six and zero, oh, and they have one more, two more games, I think, and they're going to be their hardest games. So they're kind of a little nervous. The school they play, who are they playing? Oh man, who do they play next week? They're undefeated. Whoever they play next week, so somebody's losing their status next week. Uh, was it Gallatin? No, it wasn't Gallatin. Uh, Jack, where are you, buddy? All right, let me get on the phone. Find out who he's playing next while that's ringing. Oh, hey, Jack, I love your show. I've cooked some of the food for my family and loved it. Midnight 53627. Thank you so much. I appreciate You guys, first of all, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Do Rice Krispie Chicken. I thought about that. I really did. That would be really good. Hey, Jack. Yeah. Jack, bud. Yeah, what? Hey, dude. Um, what is, who do you play next week that's undefeated? Uh, Mount Juliet. Mount Juliet. Okay. Do you have another game after that, or is that it? That should be it, but we're playing them for the championship. Playing them for the championship. They're coming together. They're undefeated. Mount Juliet. Mount Juliet's going down. <laughs> All right. I just wanted to, somebody asked about your, how football was going. Uh, tell them about the Hendersonville game. Uh, yeah, that you guys won? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Are you coming? Oh. No, my controller ran out of batteries. <laughs> oh, he's here. Okay. He's, uh, he like, show everybody what you look like when you got your, your gear off. Huh? Show them you're plugged in. See? This is what my son does on a Saturday morning. All right. And he comes in, he steals my batteries, and he gives me a kiss right there. Give yeah, me a kiss right there. No, nope, right here. No. Nope. Yeah. Come on. Honestly, right here, buddy. Look at the batteries. Sure. Use, use me first. Okay. Right here, Dude, we're in the middle of a live show. Oh, okay. Right here. Now you get it on the side. Come on, huh? Don't forget about love the you. Queen's Wrath bounties. That's what I just. Queen's Wrath. Got it. Friends. All right. Love you. Love you. Ah, sorry, guys. So, yeah, he's having a blast. He looks good, doesn't he? He's in good shape. I don't want him to ever leave football because it's keeping him in great shape. Uh, la 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 la. I have a list of anime which I can share. How can I share it with you? Ahmed, you can e uh, private message to me through YouTube. Best way is through Facebook. 90% of my communication with people is on the show page or my personal page. Uh, friend me or just email it. Let me give you an email address. Uh, let me write it down here. It's info at givemefoods.com. Uh, oops. They're going to hit me for that. .com. There we go. All right, you can email me there. Okay, let me go back here. Uh, N-O-M-W-U. My phone, TV, and internet are all in one price. I have 300 megabytes down. That TV and phone is 121 a month. That, that's about the going rate. What level are you in, Destiny Jack? Do you have it? I Yes, uh, I am at level, I think I said 11 or 12. I think it's 11. And I'm on a 12 mission or something like that. Uh, la la la. Let's see. Vesperia is 360. Most others are on PS3. I got a 360 downstairs. Uh, I'm building a game room, by the way. I have a bonus room in my new house. And I just got a big screen TV. And I'm going to game in front of the world's biggest TV. It's going to be heaven. And then on Friday nights, I'm going to have my friends over and we'll play poker. It's going to be awesome. So... Uh, that's in the future. I haven't started that yet, but I, maybe when it's all done, I'll have fat heads on the wall and 
and game posters and who knows. It's my game room. Uh, if you want a long anime, try one, one piece. Yeah, I started recording that too. Uh, Raw, Ownage 98. Uh, I just started recording that. I don't know if I should jump in or go to the beginning. Um, maybe. Legend of Korra too, great show. Yes, Legend of Korra is one of my favorites. Uh, I'd say Dragon Ball would be a good spot to start. Gosh, I don't know. I never felt Dragon Ball. I watched it. It was too much like uh, uh, Pokemon. It, it seemed like it seemed like they're more concerned. Cowboy Bebop is pretty good anime as well. Look at you guys. You guys are crazy. It is bigger than I thought. All right. Uh, what's your username on uh, Xbox 360, Xbox One, uh, 357 Queen B? I'm not ever on. On Xbox Live, I don't do Xbox Live, uh, but my gamer tag is Jack Attack sixty nine on PS four and PS three. Um, uh, let's see, Comcast really sucks. They rip you off on the speeds. Only twenty megabyte uploads for one hundred thirty megabytes up uploads, huh? Twenty megabytes upload. Yeah, I, zero gravity. I'm just. I agree with you. Comcast is horrible. I have to tell you though. Since I switched to business, I deal with all different people, and they kind of seem like they got their act together more than the residential people. Uh, yes, it's so competitive. Uh, Red 5 Cherry, for the people who play Destiny on Xbox, PlayStation, we have a Destiny clan. Yes, we do. Red 5 Cherry has a Destiny clan, and he always posts it each week. The link is right there in the comment section. Grab it now, because it may disappear. Okay? So, thank you, Red 5 Cherry. We have a Destiny clan. Um, I need to know uh, if I'm, I need to set the alerts on that, that I get notified when somebody posts something. Um, I don't know my Bungie account. Can't log in, uh, FB or, or Google, by the way. Let's see. Any more questions? All right. Let me jump into my topics real quick, guys, so that we don't go for a whole hour again. Uh, there was a recall on Mars, uh, m m peanut, uh, M&M's in the theater box. Uh, happened last week. I didn't get a chance to talk about it last week. I got the information uh, from people uh, right after the live show. So this, I put the link down below. You'll see there is a food recall on Mars Candy. The theater, it's M and M's in the theater box, and it doesn't doesn't announce on the box that could be in could contain peanuts. Is it a factory? I don't know what they didn't print it right or whatever. Nobody's been hurt. There's nothing bad about it unless you have an allergy of peanuts. They have to recall all that and reprint the boxes or just toss it or donate it or something. Um, in searching for that, I don't know if you guys use Pedigree Dog Food. Uh, I came across one from August 31st. Pedigree Dog Food had a recall too. I don't know if you guys have any uh, Pedigree Dog Food, but I put that down below too, the link. I just saw it, so I posted it. It was a while ago, 30 days ago, but uh, hey, food is food. We got to take care of the dogs too. Cats I don't care too much about, but dogs are... I'm just kidding. Just kidding, all the cat lovers. All right, they all just tuned out. I just lost all the cat lovers. Okay, now, ready for this? Bourbon pulled pork chili. Yes, the pork wasn't pulled. It was leftovers from my pulled pork episode. That's why I used the leftover pulled pork, which wasn't pulled, and put it in a chili. But you guys, you got, at, at 2 minutes and 14 seconds... I forgot to cut the video and I walked to the camera and I'm singing and you guys all jumped on that. But you missed the biggest mistake in that video. Nobody to, to today's date, nobody has mentioned the biggest flub in that video. There's something wrong in that video and nobody has seen it. And I'm not telling you what it is. I was going to make a joke about it and post it and apologize for it, but nobody saw it. Nobody commented it. I got it by you, and I'm never telling you unless you see it. So that uh, go back and watch that video, that bourbon video, bourbon pulled pork chili, which was amazing. It was to like punch yourself in the face. Amazing. It was so good. So, oh, I just blacked out my computer. Sorry. Uh, also, cider is raw and unfiltered and has pulp. Uh, yeah, Kevin, the the Kevin K says uh, also cider is raw and unfiltered. So at the Apple Barn, they sell raw cider, um, but they do filter out the pulp. I mean, it's not so. I mean, they had some with pulp, 
So you had cider with pulp, cider without pulp. Then you had fresh cider that was filtered and frozen. Okay, so the other ones have like a preservative. They'll last in their bottle for like a year. All right, that's the kind you take home, you cook with, whatever. But the freshly squeezed stuff, that has nothing in it but apple juice. And that stuff is to die for. So good. All right, so then, uh, so then I did a barbecue review on Jack and the Go. You're going to see this restaurant. It's called Bennett's Barbecue, and it's on the main strip in Pigeon Forge. Okay? If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you've ever been to Pigeon Forge, it's like Las Vegas. It's like Lake Tahoe. You know, every tourist from Orlando. There's a, there's a strip. It's full of restaurants and shows, and it looks like Las Vegas. It's crazy. So on that strip was Bennett's Barbecue. Been around for 23 years. Everybody in town told me I had to do a video on it. So I included that in my Apple Barn trip. It's going to be a two-part series. We're going to review this place too. Paul was with me, and we were really, really, we didn't want to buy, we are craving beef ribs, and nobody in Tennessee does beef ribs. This place did. So we're like, dude, let's get beef ribs. $21. $21 for beef ribs? How many do we get? Somebody said you get three ribs. $7 a rib? Oh man, we were being uh, we were being cheap that night. So we finally, uh, well, we finally couldn't find anything else. Everything else looked like garbage. The pizza place was gar looked like garbage. Everything looked horrible. So we go to Bennett's Barbecue, and by the way, it was really good. But you'll see my review uh, with Paul. Okay, he pays the twenty one dollars, and thankfully it was four ribs, not three. But this is what it looked like. Came right out. It was gorgeous. And that now look at that. Okay, so that is four giant ribs. There was a lot of meat on that. It was unbelievable. It was so good. He gave me a sample, and he'll, he'll review that in the video. Uh, he has, I think that's potato salad with kale. Uh, very, it, it looked good. He was eating it. I didn't get his opinion on that. But the corn, see that corn right there? Deep fried in butter. That's right. Deep fried corn on the cob in butter. That's just, I, I, I don't know, that should be illegal. Well, I didn't want to spend $21 on three ribs because I didn't know it was four. So I wimped out and I went with the sampler, it's the Texan, five different meats. You got pulled pork, well, I'll start at the top. The top, you see those ribs, those are, those are pork ribs. Next to it is sausage, going clockwise chicken, and then you got brisket and then pulled pork underneath. So I got five different smoked meats. Uh, about for the same price, about $22. I got the same type of corn up above. I got this amazing baked beans. Are you good? Are you get? Oh, hold on a minute. Oh, I got it. Are you hungry yet? Are you guys hungry yet? Oh my gosh. So good. Then after dinner in the video, and I'll show you, vi I have footage of this too. It's all on Jack and the Go Chef. If you're not subscribed, you should subscribe. Then I went to literally a place called a Christmas place. And this place was huge. That's like, I could only fit half the the area in the camera shot to my right is a whole other half of, and there's like it's all one big store it's huge and it's there's everything in there related to christmas there's villages there's globes snow globes there's lights there's ornaments you can have specially made ornaments there it was unbelievable absolutely unbelievable so that you'll see footage from that um so much coming up so much excitement my favorite time of year i'm so pumped all right, didn't, uh, whoop, didn't, my dog refused to eat pedigree. That's cool. Oh, Phil, you're a cat lover. I'm sorry, dude. Have I done a tour? Yes, Alex Swanson did a tour of my new kitchen. Um, Red Five Cherry, I saw so many YouTubers already do Halloween episodes. Am I missing something? Okay, I'm going to tell you, I do it the same. My holiday videos, I always release my holiday videos the first week of the month of the holiday. So my Halloween video should be out the first week <laughs> i'm running out of time it might be the second week uh, my halloween video will be out okay um always at the beginning of the month so that you could choose and think about it and decide whether you want to uh do that video i don't want to be nobody the night before halloween why bother so i always do the month and then at the beginning of november will be my thanksgiving and that's why i'm hunting the end of october for my turkey so i can do my thanksgiving video Beginning of November, Thanksgiving video. Beginning of December, Christmas videos. Okay? That's how I do it. That makes sense. Otherwise, I have no idea. All right. Ah, da, 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 da. Look at this. Oh, man. You guys are swapping anime lists. I love that. 
I've eaten at Bennett's Barbecue. Not bad. So, Harold, that looked familiar to you. Did you try, Harold, did you try the deep fried corn? I didn't try it. I didn't get a chance to try it. I was too full. Uh, we had nachos, too. Pulled pork nachos. And then it just ruined the dinner for us. We were too full. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Kevin's been to that place, too. Oh, my gosh. You guys have been. Uh, let's see. At 410 of the chili video, it sounds like you farted. No, that's not it. And I did not. Uh, zero gravity. No, that wasn't it. Uh, I can tell you this. It's before four minutes into the video. Okay? You can crack me up. You guys. Hold on. I got to clear my throat again. Hang on. You guys, you guys analyze my videos. I can't believe you didn't see this. You didn't see this mistake. Um, I'm full of... Oh, now I'm starving. I want barbecue. Yeah, Jay. I want barbecue and I have none right now. I'm going to go defrost some ribs right now. I just subscribed to Jack on the Go. <gasps> 357 Queen B, welcome to Jack on the Go show. It's a great, it's a blast. Anytime I'm not in the kitchen, I'm on the go. Uh, by the way, uh, let's see, Sir Wintlebottom says, by the way, I did a let's play of some of the tail, ga tail games on my channel if you want to see what they're like. Sorry, it's one of my favorite game series. No, it's all cool. Uh, Sir uh, Wintlebottom, you guys, it, join me on Facebook. I have a Facebook page, a uh, show page, and a Facebook personal. And uh, I'm always on that. So if you're trying to get a hold of me or send me something, you can send it through that or YouTube. I'm going to have to send you pics of this epic bacon mac and cheese. Oh, my. HWM09. That just sounds awesome. Do you have a, Robia, a Roblox? Is that Roblox? Sorry. Uh, uh, no, I don't, but if you want to send me something, a picture of it, I'd like to see what a Roblox is. Uh, no, but the beams were to die for. Oh, got it. You so you didn't, wait, you didn't try the corn, right? You picked something else. Autumn, talk about coffee creamers. Did you see that they they now have a Toll House chocolate chip one and also the sticker doodle one? Uh, Autumn, I did not know that. I will be getting that. Is it at Walmart? Uh, my wife went to Kroger's and got the raspberry one, and it's just, speaking of raspberry... Hold on. Hey, Jack, uh, what's your favorite meal recipe? Mm. Um, the, the Maximum Mexican Burger video I did with my buddies was awesome. Joe and Edgar. Um, I really liked all my rib videos. I'm a big fan of ribs. I prefer beef over pork. Uh, what else? What were some, some good meals? A lot of my chilies, all of my chilies came out really good. Uh, the, the Super Bowl, the Lazy Man Super Bowl chili still seems to be my top one. And uh, it gets made the most from viewers. Um, that's about it. For dessert, uh, for, for an appetizer, the uh, Red Lobster Biscuits, Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuits I did are better than Red Lobsters. Dirt Simple. Uh, the Lazy Man's Peach Cobbler for dessert. It's one of my favorite videos. Uh, all of those are, are big hits and very popular with the viewers. And all my stuff is simple. Because if I'm not, I'm not going to waste a lot of time doing it. My nose is itching. I'm a mess. Okay, Joshua. Jack, I love your videos. I'm always so excited when you post a new one. Yay. So am I. I love, I love every time I put up a new video. Love with food on Tuesday, by the way. Love with food box, the September box. Before September ends, I'm getting it in. I'm always late. You guys are like, dude, you're always late with love of food. It's I'm just known for it now. Hey, Jack, what is your favorite meal recipe? I already answered that one. Sorry. Uh, since you like different coffee creamers, did you see the... Oh, yeah, I already read that one. Sorry, I'm repeating myself. Uh, what watch are you wearing? I am wearing a Iron Man Triathlon Timex. Ironically, no lie, I stopped wearing watches. It's hard. I love watches. I'm a watch fanatic, by the way. But some of them make my, my wrist turn green. The metal uh, reacts with the acid in my, in my body. And then it leaves like a green. Have you guys ever had that? Or am I just retarded? Um, so I, I, have a bun, I have a big watch holder and a bunch of watches. And I can't wear them too much. This is the only watch that I've worn because it's kind of rubberized. Uh, it doesn't leave a mark. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't catch the hair on my arm. It, and it was like 10 bucks. Or fifteen dollars or something, but it it tick it's been ticking for years, and I know Timex is like, 
you know, takes a licking and keeps on ticking. That was their motto. It really does. And it, it's crazy because I have the most beautiful watches ever. And yet, this cheap old one is the one I choose to go with. Uh, yeah, and stop asking me to not cook with my ring on. This is my wedding ring. See that? Wedding ring. I'm not taking it off. It doesn't come off well e anyway. It just takes takes a while. I sanitize my ring and my hands and everything. And it's the food I'm eating, so don't worry about my ring. Everybody gets so fascinated. Have an audio, audio book suggestion for you. White Heat by Michael Pierre. White, is, it's the guy who taught Gordon Ramsay. Oh, all right, hold on. White Heat and oh, 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 Michael Pierre. Kevin. All right, Kevin. If I grab that, I'm going to give you credit for that, okay? And if I don't give you credit for it, you call me on it. All right, by the way, Roblox is free. Okay, uh, I'll be... Uh, Roblox is a game on a computer. You should get it. Oh, uh, is it a puzzle game? Because I'm not a big fan of puzzle games like Tetris or that kind of stuff. Uh, <laughs> okay, Autumn, Autumn. The, if you guys look, there's a comment that says blocked by channel owner. That is not true. She used a word that you're not supposed to use on the channel. It's in my filtered list. So if you guys ever see that you're blocked by me, it says blocked by channel owner. That's a new thing YouTube's doing. I have, I have, uh, you know, bad words or certain words that could be taken wrong that are blocked. So she must have typed something. So Autumn, try to retype your comment for me. I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, did Red Rum just pop up? Hey, hey Red Rum's here. What's up? Chris Grant, what's going on? Hey, Jack, really enjoy the Lazy Man recipes. Keep them coming. Yes, I got more coming, more playing with your food, more international. I have way too much stuff going on. I wish I could do this every day. Someday, you guys, I'll be able to do episodes every day. Uh, does the air have to do with additional greening, like brown sugar? Uh, what happened to your low-carb attempt? I never saw the results of it. Uh, it. I moved, and it screwed up my test. I was literally two months into a low-carb, and it it just it was, became impossible. It became impossible to monitor and move, and then our stuff got destroyed, and we're still trying to fi finish off of that, trying to get our house together. Uh, I can't get any of my furniture here for the office until we get it replaced. Um, so that's all coming. And then maybe I'll attempt to do another test on the low carb. Uh, yeah, does the air, da, da. are you planning on getting, getting smartwatches? Um, yes, I'm waiting for round two of smartwatches. I want them to, you know what, it's like getting a new car. My wife wanted a Ford Flex. We got her year two of the Ford Flex. They can take care of all the mistakes. Um, I wanted the Moto 360, but the battery, they lie about the battery. The battery's smaller than they claim. Um, and it's just inside isn't as good as it should be. Doesn't match the beautiful outside of a Moto 360. Anyway, Red Rum, anyone playing Destiny? No, Destiny, what's that? No, I've never heard of Destiny. I don't know anything about Destiny. <laughs> just kidding, Red Rum. We talked about it already. Um, I'm on uh, level 11 or 12 or something like that. Uh, has Jack shown his college pro picks? Uh, yes, Steve-O. I'm going to pop it up for you real quick. Boy, you guys got in here late, didn't you? Take a look at those. And you can also come back to this video. These are later on in the day. So these won't be happening for another three or four hours, okay? So come back to this video when you can. And those are my picks. That's my college. I have not shown you the pro, so let's do that right now. Pro picks, here it comes. Pro picks. I'm taking the Jets. Yes, that's right. Gino is playing better this year. Better than last year. Uh, Jets against the Lions. Only because they're in New York. I'm taking San Diego Chargers. Only because Jacksonville Jaguars are so horrible. I'm taking... Uh, and i got to give up points on the Chargers. Almost two touchdowns. Taking the Patriots on Monday night. Giving up three points. Kansas City Chiefs should be an easy, easy win on that one. Here's the one. Taking my Dallas Cowboys, baby. Go Cowboys. Uh, I get three points on that game. They're at Cowboy Stadium. Uh, they're starting to warm up. The Philadelphia Eagles are doing really well. I think they're going to stick it to the 49ers uh, in, their, in, in San Francisco. I get the Eagles in four and a half points. And then the Colts, i got to give up eight points. But unfortunately, they're going to cremate the Tennessee Titans. I hope they do it by more than eight points. There we go. Done with that. Running out of time. 
I don't know how I can't get all this in. I have stuff to talk about. Uh, oh, okay, I'm going to tell you guys right now. I'm going to type this in the comment section. A E B L E S. Able Skivers. Able Skivers. And my Dutch friends know what that is. Uh, I have finally decided that's going to be the next, that's my one of my Christmas videos, Able Skivers. It's normally done around the holidays, okay? Um, so, anyway, check it out uh, on Wikipedia, uh, Able Skivers, if you don't know what it is. I'm not going to explain it because I'm excited about it and I just want to keep it a secret. Uh, yes, I play, but I'm already in a clan. Uh, do you go to church? BB is asking, do I go to church? Yes, I go to church on Wednesday. I go to church on Sunday. I always post a link on my Facebook if you want to watch church with me. Uh, we do a live stream. I love my church. It's Cornerstone Church of Nashville. They're doing a lot of good stuff, and I, I just dig on going to church. So uh, meet some good guys. And yes, there's about 20 to 25 people in my church that come with a gun. Because <laughs> it's Tennessee. It's the South. That's right, they're packing. So... <laughs> kind of weird, but it's cool. Um, I'm meeting some really good people that are teaching me how to hunt uh, sportsman-wise, you know, with the, all the rules and, and showing me gun safety and just some really good people. And Tammy, in fact, is at Bible study right now. Okay, so let's see. Space Dandy. You should, I, I, not a, I watched the first Space Dandy. I didn't get it. And I didn't want to give it another minute. Uh, you may be your guys' thing, but I just didn't get it. It was just too... Graphically, it was bizarre, and storyline was blah. I didn't even know what the storyline was, really. So, anyway. Uh, so, if you like it, go for it. I hear you. Uh, Serrano Bottoms. I just I just didn't... It just wasn't my cup of tea. <laughs> I don't even drink tea. I should drink more tea. Uh, all right. Jack, I posted the pic of the mac and cheese to your Facebook page. Thank you, guys. I'll be going there. Can't believe you got three points. Saints over Cowboys. Yeah, I think, uh, I know, I guess the Saints are favored, but I took the Cowboys. My Seahawks on a bye week, that's okay, Red Rum, they need a rest. They're powerful this year. I don't know who's going to beat them. Uh, say again, I am Dutch. Red Pipe Cherry, Able Skivers. It's, I just typed it in the comment section. Yes, Joe, Joe Nolan 89, they're Danish pancakes, and there's apple involved, and sweetness, and wonderfulness, and they're... I'm going to have to buy a pan for it. I have to get a, a pan so I can cook these. Um, uh, they're like puff pancakes. There's different ways to make them. Some people can make them flat. I don't know if I'm going to yet. Roblox is like Minecraft but free. Jack, we should go all day. Joshua, I would love to. I'm trying to wrap this up. Uh, hey, Jack, if you want to see the mac and cheese, uh, I posted the pic. Yep, I will go look. Uh, I'm, I'm late, Jack. Sorry. Herc, Zeus... Where have you been? I have kept the show running for you, dude. Just kidding. Don't worry about it, man. You can go back and watch what we talked about. Uh, yeah, it's pretty odd, but I like the show. Like Gurren Lagan. Yeah, it is an odd show, isn't it? Uh, kill la kill, and they get pretty... Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, that was a rough comment there. Um, let's see, Roblox is nothing... Okay, you guys are talking about Roblox. Okay, good morning, Ron. I'm leaving. I'm signing off now, Ron. I'm, I'm welcome to you guys who just showed up. I'm sorry. I just have to go start my day. Uh, the softmobile needs fixing, so I got to take that in, and then I've got to work. I got to film Love with Food Box and all that good stuff. So, uh, if you guys have any questions, if I didn't answer your question, forgive me. The, these comments may disappear as soon as I turn off the live broadcast button. YouTube hit, last two weeks has deleted all the comments. If I didn't answer your question, repost it for me, please, okay? Um, have a great day. God bless you guys. Thank you for your time. I value your time. Um, you guys come here to hang out with me, and it really means a lot. I know you could be doing something way better than just listening to me yap. So uh, I will see you guys on the next live show. Send me stuff throughout the week to talk about, and uh, let's just have fun. Get in the kitchen and cook, okay? It's the best time of the year. This, you guys should be cooking a lot of comfort food right now. It is officially fall. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.